Good morning. This is Pastor Zach with the Goodland United Methodist Church with your morning devotion for Monday, August 13th. Today I'll be sharing from Philippians 1. Some proclaim Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. These proclaim Christ out of love, knowing that I have been put here for the defense of the gospel. The others proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerity, but intending to increase my suffering and my imprisonment. What does it matter? Just this, that Christ is proclaimed in every way, whether out of false motives or true, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will result in my deliverance. It is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in any way, but that by my speaking with all boldness, Christ will be exalted now, as always, in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, living in Christ and dying is gain." If I'm to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I prefer. I am hard-pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better, but to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Since I'm convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with all of you for your progress and joy and faith, so that I may share abundantly in your boasting in Christ Jesus when I come to you again. These letters from the Apostle Paul were uh, the influence to a very uh, well-known <clears throat> hymn by Fanny Crosby called Blessed Assurance. I'm going to read some of the words to that. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, Bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. And the final stanza, perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. Perfect, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This idea of a blessed assurance is one that we have in Christ Jesus. But I think so often in our lives and our culture, we are concerned more with certainty than assurance. Certainty is knowing that we are right, knowing that everything will go as we plan it, that no matter what direction we go or what speed we go, that we are in the right. Unfortunately, I think that has caused us as Christians to forget the greater picture, the greater law and commandment of God through Jesus Christ, to love God and love our neighbor. If we live out that love, instead of following the certainty of law, Christ's kingdom will come more fully in our world, in our community in our lives. So let us cling to blessed assurance and less to assured certainty. The certainty is what traps us. The certainty is what makes us feel safe, feels comfortable, but it's really not where God's will would have us, that we are to live out God's will in our lives, having that blessed assurance that no matter what we come across in life, no matter what roadblocks or challenges, that assurance of God being with us is always there. May you have a blessed day.